Okay, so let's talk a little bit about Sony and their holiday 2021 and what they've lined up because at this point, we were all kind of hanging out waiting for Sony to have some sort of larger state of play, one more focused on their big first party games, ones we know coming up like God of War or Gran Turismo or Horizon Forbidden West. In fact, a lot of people have been waiting to see more about Horizon Forbidden West after that very impressive gameplay that they showed during that state of play because it appeared like they were at least expecting to be able to get it out for the holiday. They were going to try and we're going to go over that here today because a couple of reports now have come out saying that Horizon Forbidden West has actually slipped into 2022. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, make sure that like button helps out a ton. And if you're new here to the Spawn Wave channel, make sure you subscribe down below and ring that notification bell so you can keep up to date with all the uploads here on the channel. And we're going to start by going over to uh, VGC, who compiled both reports. We do have two to look at. Uh, the first one that I saw, who had talked about this, was Jeff Grubb over at GamesBeat mentioned this in a live stream. We can see at the top, Horizon Forbidden West 2022 slip is decided and delayed. So we have Jeff Grubb with the initial kind of mention and report of it. And then Jason Schreier came in and more or less confirmed that backing uh, through Bloomberg saying Sony Corp has delayed the upcoming PlayStation game Horizon Forbidden West to the first quarter of 2022, according to a person familiar with the matter. And then Schreier went on a bit further on Twitter saying, I am telling you it is decided and delayed. Now, this is something I assume that is getting out there because they are planning to have some sort of event. I, I guess they do a state of play probably in the first half of August. Uh, I mean, it could be as soon as next week, especially with this getting out there now. And maybe they were going to put the 2022 year on Horizon Forbidden West in a new trailer. I don't know if they necessarily have the release date in mind, if they have recently decided that it's getting pushed into 2022. Because if we go back to the blog post that was posted up. Uh, this was from Herman Holster in that Q&A where he had revealed that God of War was going to be cross-gen as well as Gran Turismo 7. But in this blog post, you can see here, so we have currently two very big, very narrative-driven games in development, that being Horizon Forbidden West and the next God of War. And for both of those, they're frankly affected by access to performance, capture, and talent. For Horizon, we think we are on track to release this holiday season, but that isn't quite certain yet, and we're working as hard as we can to confirm that to you as soon as we can. And I think at this time, we've seen enough delays to know that, yes, uh, basically the entire gaming landscape, it looks like, was affected by the shift to remote work and the pandemic with COVID really uh, bring some of these developments to almost a complete halt as they were trying to do things as they show their like performance capture, whether it's through mocap or even just even just recording voice. It was difficult when people have to figure out how to do it at home all of a sudden rather than go into a really nice, fancy recording booth. Yeah, instead you got to put a blanket over you, go in the closet or do something to try to make that work and be up to a certain level, a certain standard for what they're trying to do with these different games. But I mean, like, like we've even seen like Ghostwire Tokyo got pushed to next year and that's like Bethesda and then we have uh, Sifu that one got pushed into next year and we've even seen some smaller delays earlier this year that I think some people may have forgotten about even like Returnal that was delayed almost 40 days just for extra polish and looking at Horizon Forbidden West it kind of sounds like maybe they were going to get this thing out in October at the latest uh, and if, if they say get it out in February, this would be like a, what, a four-month delay or something? Eh, that's I think it sounds worse when we say, oh, it's slipping into 2022 than it being like a three- or four-month delay. The Obviously, the biggest issue is it's going to miss the holiday season when Sony wants to have a big-time game available. Now, I think Horizon Forbidden West will sell fine if it comes out in like February or March. And I've said this for a while. I think these companies can launch their system or even games whenever they want. Like, especially if it's an established franchise or an established company with a system. Nintendo showed you can launch a system in March if you feel like it. And Horizon, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, that launched in February. Like, these games are successful whenever they want to come out. So I don't think it's a big deal if it necessarily misses the holiday season. And really looking at what we've seen for the PS5, it's not like they're already not like they're already moving off the shelves as it is. Like a big game like Horizon Forbidden West wouldn't necessarily mean oh more PlayStation 5s will sell because they can't get them out 
Anyway, that said, yes, I was hoping to be able to play this game uh, this holiday because everything they've shown so far, it looks awesome. But as we've said time and time again, I'd rather the game come out a little later and be better rather than release and just be broken and crashing the system and incomplete and you know, be this whole mess. Eh, I'm gonna wait a couple months. There's a lot of stuff coming out anyway here uh, throughout this holiday, but it does bring up the, the question of Sony's holiday 2021, because if they don't have a, a, a first party title ready to go, it could be kind of a quiet time for people who maybe are early adopters of the PS5 uh, this year, and they were wondering what Sony would have ready to go, because if we look at the titles now, we have Kena, Bridge of Spirits, that's out September 21st, we have Deathloop, that's September 14th, couple of director's cuts with Death Stranding and Ghost Tsushima, Death Stranding coming out September 24th, and Ghost Tsushima out in less than a month, August 20th, I'm really excited for Ghost Tsushima with the additional content that they're going to have with that new island, and new items, and weapons, and all that stuff, that'll be a lot of fun to go back to, I'm still trying to gauge if I'm going to go back to Death Stranding, it depends I guess on the save transfer and all of that stuff, but if you look at three of those four releases, that being Kena, Deathloop, and Death Stranding, those all release within 10 days of each other. Deathloop comes out first on September 14th. Then the following week, we have Kena Bridge of Spirits, September 21st. And then later on in that week, we have Death Stranding Director's Cut, September 24th. Which means after September 24th, there's not going to be much that's just going to be like really spe like specifically for Sony's platforms. Even if they're cross-gen with the PS4 and the PS5, at least it's something that's like, hey, this is something you would want to get a PS5 to play. Instead, we're going to look towards what Sony did, I would say earlier on, but then at least through the generation of the PS4. And that has become the default system for third-party games because there's still a bunch of third-party games coming out this holiday you have i mean we figure call of duty is getting revealed any time now and sony has uh been making deals with them for exclusive content for a while now so i have a feeling they're going to do that with call of duty this year as well battlefield looks awesome like it looks really good grand theft auto 5 is going to have its next gen release and trust me i know it, yeah it's grand theft auto 5 but like it's super popular. GTA Online continues to roll along, making tons of money, and so, you know a portion of that money goes to the platform holder with Sony and Microsoft and all of that. So I'm sure Sony is probably going to do some kind of collaboration there with GTA 5 when that goes to the PS5. And then we also have like Dying Light 2 and Far Cry 6. So there are opportunities here for Sony to do cross marketing or something here uh, to kind of put the PS5 next to some of these big third party games. And while I would like to see a big first party title from Sony uh, for the holidays, that might be enough to at least get them by for 2021 with these third parties and some of these uh, smaller games, I guess we'll say, with things like Kena Bridge of Spirits. Although, if I was Sony, I would really get behind Ke uh, Kena Bridge of Spirits right now and start pushing that heavily with marketing. Because the game looks good, and you can at least say, hey, here's a new experience for your PlayStation system now. It will be on the PS4 and the PS5, and I believe the Epic Game Store. But it's still something that, once again, Sony can put their system next to. Deathloop is another one that at least looks uh, it looks unique. It's arcane, and I, I generally will check out their game. So I will be checking out Deathloop. It's, it's also kind of funny to think about this, because technically, Microsoft owns Bethesda and Arcane and all of this. So I guess the big game for the PS5 that's coming out this holiday is from Microsoft. It's, it's a strange world right now, isn't it? So if we go through this holiday and Sony doesn't have too many problems there, they will set themselves up pretty nicely for 2022. I mean, we're pretty much thinking, okay, God of War is, is most likely coming out next year. Uh, then we see Gran Turismo dropping. Um, we're expecting now Horizon to kind of open the year up, maybe in February, and it'd be a nice anniversary release there uh, for it after... Horizon Zero Dawn came out February of 2017, so I think 2022 is going to be a big year for Sony with their PlayStation 5. It's just they're going to have to go through what looks like right now a bit of a drier spell for the holiday season coming up. But like I said, there are a lot of games that have come out, and they did a pretty good job starting off the generation with Insomniac, putting out things like Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Ratchet, and Clank, and then we had Returnal. So uh, there are games to play if you pick up the PS5 this holiday. But let me know what you guys think about 
this situation here, were you expecting Horizon Forbidden West to come out this holiday? Or were you thinking now, okay, it's almost August. It's probably not coming out in the next month or two. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.